Hello everybody, my name is Andrew from Brickmeister Zine, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the LEGO Ideas The Office set. This is set number 21336, and this has a total of 1,164 pieces, and this set was released in October 2022 for $120. This LEGO set was originally made by Jaja Lewis. I hope I said it right, and he is also known as Lego The Office. Let's first take a look at the minifigures, and there are a total of 15 of them that were exclusive to this set. First, we have Michael Scott, and this figure has two accessories, including this white coffee mug that says World's Best Boss on the front, as well as a stickered 2x4 tile, that is exact they writes out for the Rabies Q Fun Run. Next is Dwight Schrute. And this figure has a Schrute buck in his hand, which is a stickered 1x2 tile. Then we have Jim Halbert and Pam Beasley. Jim has a printed 1x2 tile for an envelope. And this is actually a letter that he gives to Pam with her accessory, which is a teapot piece. For Ryan Howard, he uses the exact same torso piece that was used from Jim, and he also has an iPhone in his hand, which is a printed 1x2 tile. Next is Angela Martin with her pet cat named Garbage, and in her hand, she has a stickered 2x4 tile, which is a jazz baby poster that Oscar hates. Speaking of that, here is Oscar Martinez, who is our next minifigure, and in his hand, he does have a printed 1x1 one one tile to represent the calculator. Next is Kevin Malone, and right next to him, there is this chili pot with studs inside. And what's so funny is that you can knock over the chili pot just like this, so that Kevin would spill the chili, which is a reference to The Office's Season 5 episode, Casual Friday. For Stanley Hudson, he has a pretzel in his hand, as well as a crossword puzzle, which is a sticker at the front of a Lego book piece. For Kelly Kapoor, she has a birthday cake in her hand, which is a sticker at the front of a 2x2 two two tile in white, and on the bottom, there is also a 2x2 two two plate in white. For Phyllis Lap Advance, she uses those chopstick pieces to represent those knit-in needles, as well as a transparent stickered 1x2 tile when she is knit in the mittens. For Meredith Palmer, she has a coffee cup in her hand, as well as a small bat. And you can see that there is some printing around her torso, which is actually an ugly sweater. For Creed Bratton, he has a mudbean in his hand, which are two studs stacked on top, and he has the same torso piece that was used from Michael. And if you remember in the show, he has hair, but this Lego figure doesn't have hair, which is super weird that I found. For Toby Flenderson, one accessory that he had is a camera piece. And finally for Daryl Philbin, he has a takeout menu in his hand that says Terry's Diner, which is the name of the restaurant that appeared in the office TV show. The design of this uses a sticker at the front of a 2x2 two two tile in yellow. And once you remove their different hair pieces, you can see that all the main figures have different facial expressions. Moving on to the Dunder Mifflin build, we have this section for the desks, the conference room in the corner, and we also have Michael Scott's office that you can slide it out from the main build, just like this. The build of Michael's office has a couple of pictures hanging on the wall, which are actually stickered tiles. And on this shelf, we have a minifigure headpiece, which has a glow print at the front. And then to the right, we have a Dunder Mifflin gold ticket, which is a stickered 2x2 two two tile that sits on top of a drawer build. And right underneath Michael's desk, you can see that there is actually poop, which is a reference to The Office's Season 2 episode, The Carpet. 
Ew. The belt of Michael's desk has a Dundee build at the front. And you can also put the world's best boss coffee mug right here. And once you turn the desk around, you can see that Michael has a computer as well as a telephone and a post-it note drawn by Pam, which is actually a stickered one-by-one -one tile. And if you look inside one of the drawers, you can see that there is a stickered one-by-two tile of the drawing of the poster from Michael's movie, Threat Level Midnight. And right next to Michael's office, we have the conference room. In the corner, we have this TV build. And as you can see on the screen, there is a DVD screensaver, which is a stickered 2x3 tile. You can change the TV screen by using this sticker of the Straight Out of Scranton Wrap, or this sticker of the Pizza Slice on Ryan's face. As for the whiteboard build, we have a stickered 2x4 tile at the front to represent how the people could tell Michael that he is in a pyramid scheme. You can replace the pyramid scheme with this stickered 2x4 tile that says don't and don't bother Luke. And right above the door, we have this stickered 1x6 tile that says Diversity Day Take 2. And you can actually replace that piece with this stickered tile that says it is your birthday. And now let's take a look inside the Dunder Mifflin Scranton brands. For this entrance section, we have a Dunder Mifflin sign on the wall which is a sticker. And we have this door that you can open it just like this. And after when you walk in, there is a fire extinguisher on the wall as well as some paint ins which are stickered tiles. And we do have the sofa builds as well as Pam's reception desk. Right next to the reception desk, we have this build for the printer. And we also have some cabinets and drawers. Inside one of the cabinets, you can find Garbage the Cat. Next up are these two self builds that are in front of those desk builds. This self has a stabler in a gel prank which is a printed 2x2 two two dome piece. And for the other self, we have this build for the Homer Simpson doll. For Dwight's desk, we have this computer screen that referenced Shrewd Farms, as well as this microfigure piece for his bobblehead. And inside one of the drawers, you can see that he has one of his secret weapons. And for Jim's desk, there's not too much else to sew, but if you look in this drawer, you can find a wedding ring. As for the other desk builds, we have one for Phyllis, one for Stanley, and one for Andy Bernard, who is not in this set. And inside one of the drawers from Stanley's desk, you can find a nickel, which is actually a printed round one by one tile. And in front of the conference room windows, we have this build for the garbage can. And inside, we have a flame popping out when Dwight started the fire. And that is a reference to The Office's Season 5 episode, Stress Relief. Then we have one of the plant builds off to the side, as well as this drawer build. On top of that, we have a stapler, as well as one of those book builds. And finally... We have a hole in the wall, which is found in between the doors of Michael's office and the conference room. The hole in the wall is a reference to The Office's Season 3 episode, The Return. And this is actually a Technic 1x2 brick in white with a hole popping out. And if you don't want that Technic brick, you can replace it with a normal 1x2 brick in white, which is found in the instruction booklet. And there you have it. That is my review of the LEGO Ideas The Office set, and I hope you enjoyed this set as much as I do. Let me know what you think about this set in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the Brickmeister Z channel for more LEGO review videos. 
Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. That's what Brickmeister Z said. Ha 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 ha.